The automation pyramid is a pictorial representation of the layers of automation within a typical factory, comprising five layers of integrated devices and technology. These layers are sometimes given different names, but the pyramid I am familiar with goes like this. Understanding the automation pyramid is foundational to most discussions about manufacturing technology and the directions in which industry is evolving. If you don't understand the automation pyramid, you will be at a disadvantage as Industry 4.0 and cloud adoption continue to make changes in the way our factories are managed. Layer 5. The Production Floor Layer Let's start at the bottom, on the production floor. This layer or field is made up of a wide variety of sensor devices and technologies, including measuring instruments such as flow meters, level switches, proximity switches, etc. In short, anything that provides input by measuring variables on the production floor. Actuators, such as valves, pumps, and other instruments that keep variables such as flow, heat, and pressure within allowable parameters. Communication protocols, which allow the field layer to talk to the next layer up. Control. Layer 4, the control or PLC layer. The control or PLC layer is the brain behind your shop floor processes. PLC stands for Programmable Logic Controller, but when the processes involved are highly complex, the PLC may not be brainy enough. In that case, the PLCs are replaced by a Distributed Control Systems DCS. Devices in the control level receive input from devices on the field level and use that input to create output that controls the production process. For example, many manufacturing processes require stringent temperature control. A PID, Proportional Integral Derivative, typically integrated into the PLC, uses input from field-level sensors to monitor the heat around a set point to maintain a constant temperature throughout the production process. Layer 3 the Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition SCADA Systems The next layer up is where you find Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition SCADA Systems as well as Human Machine Interfaces HMI. In this layer, process data is monitored through user interfaces and stored in databases. SCADA is typically used to control multiple machines in complex processes, including processes that involve multiple sites. When I first encountered SCADA, I was a little confused. What was the real difference between the SCADA level and the control level? Both levels receive input from the shop floor and return outputs to control processes. One difference is that SCADA is often used to refine or reset values at the control level. For example, if your production process usually hits widget at 400 degrees, SCADA can be used to change that value perhaps to 500 degrees. Layer 2 – The Planning Level including MES and MOM Finally, we get to the planning level of the pyramid. This now is my favorite level because it contains the Management Execution System MES. MOM for example monitors your entire manufacturing process from raw materials to finished goods. This provides managers with real-time 360-degree visibility as well as highly advanced tools for tracking important shop floor metrics such as labor and equipment usage and performance that can be used to optimize production efficiency and reduce or eliminate waste. Layer 1 
the management decision making layer. The top layer, management, is built around your company, ERP, which gives company decision makers information from every level of the automation pyramid. Whereas MOM, MES monitors and controls a single plant, ERP provides monitoring, reporting, and control for entire corporations. MOM and ERP are distinct but connected entities. If it wasn't before, perhaps it's clear now why MOM and ERP are distinct but connected entities. MOM is the most effective tool in the manufacturing arsenal for fine-tuning shop floor production processes. Used to its full extent, MOM, now an integral part of, can dramatically improve operations management and provide highly granular data to the ERP that can be used to inform upper-level management decisions.